Welcome to Buchake English for Teens. I'm Hava Steinmetz. And I'm Sean Connolly. Let's get started by watching today's skit. I'm glad you talked us into this. Yeah, this is nice. I'm glad you're enjoying. Well, we should probably start heading back. What? We left 10 minutes ago! Yep, and 10 minutes is plenty. I can't believe Mia and Kara wanted to go back after only 10 minutes. Honestly, I'm surprised they lasted that long. True. I don't know how Anna talked them into it. And talk someone into is our point for today. To talk someone into something is to persuade or convince them to do something. You can also use talk someone out of to mean persuading or convincing them to not do something. And for both phrases, that someone can be yourself. Right. You can say you talked yourself into or out of something if you persuaded yourself to do or not to do something. Okay, let's check out some examples. They talked me into going to the concert. They talked me into going to the concert. She talked him into joining the soccer club. She talked him into joining the soccer club. I talked myself into auditioning for the school play. I talked myself into auditioning for the school play. He talked them out of going camping. He talked them out of going camping. She talked him out of buying sandals. She talked him out of buying sandals. I talked myself out of going diving. I talked myself out of going diving. Why did you do that? I'm afraid of giant squid. Those are pretty rare. You're not likely to run into any. Really? Great. Looks like you talked me back into diving again. Today's Honto Wako is about what Anna said to Mia. I'm glad you're enjoying. This isn't quite right. What she should have said was, I'm glad you're enjoying it. That's right. This is because we need to have an object after enjoying. So in this case, the object is it, referring to canoeing. By the way, you don't always have to use it. You can also say the activity, event, or thing that someone is enjoying. Let's look at some examples. If your friend tells you they are having a good time at your party, you could say, I'm glad you're enjoying the party. I'm glad you're enjoying the party. Or, if I thank my friend for recommending the book I'm reading, he could say, I'm glad you're enjoying the book. I'm glad you're enjoying the book. Can we use this phrase with plurals too? Absolutely. If your friend lent you some CDs, you could say, thanks for the CDs. I'm really enjoying them. Thanks for the CDs. I'm really enjoying them. And I'm enjoying all these English tips. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to try these phrases out and don't forget to have fun. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. See you next week.